in 1993, Mr. William Waldegrave, who was the UK science minister at the time, wanted to know why we wanted him to fund the Large Hadron Collider, which was a new accelerator we wanted built at CERN. And we told him we wanted to see whether there was such a thing as a Higgs boson. And he said, well, what's that? And we tried to explain it to him. And he didn't understand a word of what was said. And he said, can anybody get this explanation down on one side of a sheet of A4 paper? And if they can, then I'll give them a bottle of vintage champagne. Well, five of us tried, and five of us actually got it down on a side of A4, and five of us actually got a bottle of vintage champagne. Here's mine. It's empty. Drunk long since. Now, the explanation which won the prize was... Imagine a cocktail party of political party workers who are uniformly distributed across the floor of the room, all talking to their nearest neighbours. The ex-Prime Minister enters and crosses the room. All of the workers in her neighbourhood are strongly attracted to her and cluster round her. As she moves, she attracts the people she comes close to, while the ones she has left return to their even spacing. Because of the knot of people always clustered around her, she acquires a greater mass than normal. That is, she has more momentum for the same speed across the room. Once moving, she's harder to stop. And once stopped, she's harder to get moving again because the clustering process has to be restarted. In This is the Higgs mechanism. In order to give particles mass, a background field is invented which becomes locally distorted whenever a particle moves through it. The distortion, the clustering of the field around the particle, de generates the particle's mass. The idea comes directly from the physics of solids. Instead of a field spread throughout all space, a solid contains a lattice of positively charged crystal atoms. When an electron moves through the lattice, the atoms are attracted to it causing the electron's effective mass to be as much as 40 times bigger than the mass of a free electron. The postulated Higgs field in a vacuum is a sort of hypothetical lattice which fills our universe. We need it because otherwise we cannot explain why the Z and W particles which carry the weak interactions are so heavy, while the photon which carries electromagnetic forces is massless. Now, Consider a rumour passing through our room full of uniformly spread political workers. Those near the door hear it first and cluster together to get the details. Then they turn and move closer to their next neighbours who will want to know about it too. A wave of clustering passes through the room. It may spread out to all the corners or it may form a compact bunch which carries the news along a line of workers from the door to some dignitary at the other side of the room. Since the information is carried by clusters of people, and since it was clustering which gave the extra mass to the ex-Prime Minister, then the rumour-carrying clusters also have mass. The Higgs boson is predicted to be just such a clustering in the Higgs field. We will find it much easier to believe that that field exists, and the mechanism for giving other particles mass is true if we actually see the Higgs particle itself in our experiments at the LHC. Again, there are analogies in the physics of solids. A crystal lattice can carry waves of clustering without needing an electron to move and attract the atoms. The waves can behave as if they are particles. They are called phonons, and they too are bosons. There could be a Higgs mechanism and a Higgs field throughout the universe without there actually being a Higgs boson. The next generation of colliders, like the LHC, will sort this out.